Minecraft and Hour of Code make perfect sense together, getting people into coding through a game they already love. And it's a great example of our partnership with Microsoft and how we've been able to take Minecraft into new and exciting places with them. Given the chance to contribute to millions of kids' first introduction into computer science and doing it with Minecraft is a, is a very, very rewarding experience, it's a humbling experience. One of the things that was really appealing about the Hour of Code is being able to say, no, this is a great sandbox. Come and tinker in this place. You can learn the basic concepts, the same concepts that we use making AAA games right here in just an hour knowing that tens of millions of kids most likely will go and play an hour of code sometime in December is that's why we make games. Everybody remembers the first day in Minecraft, the first night in Minecraft. And that's what we wanted to represent. So the tutorials, like sort of step-by-step -step starts where you would have started in a normal Minecraft and until you build your house and you go underground, you mine, you build your railroad tracks, before you know it, you're an expert. One of the challenges with building the Hour of Code is that Minecraft is a 3D game and we wanted to make sure it had the, the look that was true to Minecraft, that it's made of blocks and that the world is three-dimensional. So we needed to redesign it and we needed to find a way to represent what everybody loved about Minecraft, but basically the essence of Minecraft. So we took a long look at like, what would Minecraft look like if it was a board game? What would Minecraft look like if it was a 2D game? What if it was like a 90s adventure game? And we did a lot of, of comps about like how we feel that Minecraft could be represented in the browser in a way that everybody goes, of course that's Minecraft. One of the things that's really exciting to see is uh, when a kid sits down to play this and they see that the set of instructions that they're writing take effect when they hit the run button. And whether they get it right or wrong, there's just this light up moment of, wow, it just did what I told it to do. And the fact that the computer is kind of this quiet companion, not a judge. It's not telling you, hey, you did that wrong. Uh, it makes it so easy to go back and want to just try again. Let me try again. What happens if I do this? Uh, it's a great opportunity to tinker and to explore that we don't always get in, in normal education. I think Minecraft in education, uh, if we do our job right, will feel like Minecraft that just happens to support learning. It's fantastic when you can, you can have kids get their first introduction into coding using something as, as open-ended and powerful as Minecraft and hopefully like, that's how we're going to get the next wave of mod creators.